Hi, Paul here from Interesting Places. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back at Nab Woods Cemetery and Crematorium here in Shipley, West Yorkshire. Today, I'm not looking for a grave. I'm not looking for a headstone. I'm looking for the dispersal area where the ashes of the legendary wrestler, Les Kellett, have been scattered. Les Kellett was born Leslie Kellett on the 11th of May, 1915 in Bradford, West Yorkshire and died on the 9th of January, 2002 in Ilkley, West Yorkshire at the age of 86. Now this is a bit of a sad one for me because I was really hoping that Les Kellett would have a headstone. I sort of grew up with Les Kellett watching him on a Saturday afternoon. He was one of those wrestlers that really made everybody laugh. He was more of a comic, more of a comedian wrestler. When you watch Les Kellett fight, you did laugh. I was really hoping that I would find a headstone. But unfortunately, after all the research, I found out that he was cremated here at Nabwood Crematorium and his ashes have been scattered on the Garden of Remembrance. Now, I thought I'm going to still come and see if I can find the Garden of Remembrance and just have a look where Les Kellett's ashes would have been scattered. But after a little bit more research and a lot of help from the people here at the crematorium, the records at Keithley Record Office state that he was just scattered in the woodlands but after speaking to people here at the actual crematorium they have an old ledger and they looked it up and believe it or not there's an area and the kind member of staff took me exactly to section d so i might not have a headstone but i have the exact section where the ashes of Les Kellett were finally scattered. Right, a member of staff did actually show me the exact location where Les Kellett's ashes have been scattered. So let me turn you around and show you section D of the Garden of Remembrance. So this is the dispersal area. So if you look from the bench, right up where the three main trees are in front, and you do have the hedging going round the outside, that area is section D. So that is the final resting place where the ashes of Les Kellett were scattered. Somewhere on that area back in 2002. Les Kellett was a British professional wrestler who rose to prominence due to the popularity of televised wrestling in the 1960s and 70s. Les was an engineer in the Merchant Navy and was demobbed in Manchester, where a meeting with Joe Hill led him to consider a life of professional wrestling. During the 1950s, he earned between 40 and 50 pounds for fighting five to six times per week all over the country. In the 1960s, Kellett was nominated for ITV's Sports Personality of the Year. In the 1970s, he could regularly be seen on ITV's Saturday Afternoon Sports Showcase World of Sport. Although well known for his comic antics, he was respected and feared in equal measure by his fellow professionals and was regarded as one of the toughest opponents in the sport. One of his standard tactics was to appear punch drunk and almost defeated in the match, then suddenly return to take the match. Kellett died peacefully in his sleep in Ilkley two years after he moved to a nursing home at the age of 86, leaving a widow, Margaret, son Christopher, and two grandchildren, Robert and Keeley. His other son, David Barry, with whom he used to wrestle as a tag partner, and who was a popular middleweight wrestler in his own right, had died in 2000. Well, that brings me to a close for this video. 
This is a video I wanted to do personally. I grew up with Les Kellett. I watched him every Saturday afternoon. He was probably my favorite wrestler. If you've never heard of him, please Google him, look on Wikipedia, or even go on YouTube and just watch his videos. You will laugh. From me, Paul, at Interesting Places, here at Nabwood Cemetery and Crematorium, thanks for watching and bye for now.